If the estate has income from any type of offshore source, be it interest, dividends, or any other form of income earned offshore, then you may claim a portion of any tax deducted offshore by the foreign country. This is provided that SAS has a double taxation agreement with the foreign country. SAS will, however, limit the amount of the tax claim to what tax would have been deducted had the income been earned in South Africa. This limit is called your Section 6 Quat Limit and in its simplest form it works like this. Let's say that the estate had local income of 200,000 Rand and paid no tax on the 200,000 Rand. Let's say it also earned 150,000 Rand foreign interest from an offshore bank account and let's say that 40,000 Rand in tax was deducted overseas. How much of that 40,000 Rand tax deducted offshore will SAS allow you to claim as a foreign tax credit? Let's have a look at the formulas that SAS uses. In our example, we can see the foreign income of 150,000 Rand earned offshore, foreign interest for example, and we can see the equivalent of 40,000 Rand in tax deducted overseas. If we look at the income screen, we can also see the 200,000 Rand income earned locally and zero tax was deducted on that 200,000 Rand. Let's have a look at the auto summary screen showing all the bottom line figures. We have a total of foreign plus local income of 350,000 Rand. Sources tax tables show that the tax due on a taxable income of 350,000 would be 77,539 Rand. To determine how much of the 40,000 Rand tax deducted offshore will be allowed as a claim, we simply proportion the tax due on the total by the portion of total income earned. This means 150,000 divided by 350,000 multiplied by 77,539 Rand tax due on the total taxable income of 350,000. SAS so says this would mean the 150,000 Rand earned offshore would have attracted tax of 33,231 Rand if the 150,000 would have been earned locally and so as per 6 squat the limit we can claim is 33,231 and we'd have to forfeit the balance of 40,000 tax deducted offshore. Note that the amounts for foreign income and for local income in the formula must be taxable income amounts. Let's have a look at a case where the 150,000 Rand earned offshore was by way of dividends from a foreign investment and the tax of 20,000 Rand was deducted offshore. SAS will only add 20 over 45 of the 150,000 Rand dividends earned as income the 20 is because dividends of this nature are taxed at 20% at source in South Africa before you get them and the top rate of tax in South Africa is 45%. So although the estate received 150,000 Rand in foreign dividends, SAS will only add 20 over 45 of that 150,000 Rand or 66,667 Rand to the estate's income. The 200,000 Rand earned locally plus the 66,667 means total taxable income of 266,667. The tax tables tell us that the tax on the taxable income of 266,667 would be 53,665 Rand. The auto summary shows us this. The proportioned amounts of the 53,665 Rand tax that would be levied on the foreign income of 66,667 would be 66,667 over 266,667 multiplied by 53,665 which comes to 13,416 Rand. In this example, we would only be allowed to claim 13,416 Rand as taxes paid and we would have to forfeit the balance of 20,000 Rand actually deducted offshore. 
I have used simple examples to illustrate how six quat works. It can get more complicated in cases where the estate also has income from foreign capital gains, but fortunately this program will factor in all these various income and allowable deduction amounts and do all the most complex six quat income tax calculations for you. You must just enter any foreign tax deducted offshore on CGT transactions under code 4114 on the CGT screen and not under code 4111 on the foreign income screen.